What we have here is the Dutchware 12 footer, and then that's the Foxelli 12 foot bug net. And what I have done is I have a structural ridge line on the hammock, and the top of the bug net is just resting on that. There are loops and provisions to attach it to an, a higher ridge line, like the one on the rainfly there, but I opted not to use it. Um, I think once I get in it, all that slack at the bottom is going to be pretty much taken up. So let's give it a try, shall we? This is the first use, and I have, once again, picked a nice swampy area, although it's cool enough that there really are no bugs bothering me. But uh, it went on fine. There's plenty of room. So I am in it now, and uh, as suspected, the... Uh, width I guess you'd say took up most of the slack and we have an inch or two under the hammock there of spare room and uh, I am totally enclosed here we've got the vertical uh, dual zippers it goes up this one goes down um, so uh, overall it worked pretty well both ends of the net have stayed closed with, uh, there's not really that much stress on it so I suspect that the bug net is a little bit longer than the hammock in this configuration at least. But both ends appear to be snug tight, so no mosquitoes are getting in there. So far my only criticism, and it's a relatively minor one, is that I think this could be wider. My boots are pressed up against the bug net on that side, and my head is over here kind of, I'm touching it. Not a big deal if I was sleeping. Um, I would take my boots off and this bug net could benefit from a few clips on the inside just to keep it from uh, sliding from side to side and uh, what I think might be a possibility is to turn it inside out hey it worked I turned the bug net inside out the cinch ends still cinch tightly the bag is on the inside now and uh, the little clips that are inside, let me see if I can find one. There's a little clip there. I, it's, they're on the inside now, so I was able to attach it to the ridge line, and that just keeps the bug net from moving from side to side so much. The zippers still work fine. The clips are now on the inside. That allows me to clip them to the ridge line, and I have this ditty bag right here, and it'll actually clip right to the ridge line through the ditty bag, holding the ditty bag in place. That's super cool the only problem is that the mosquitoes are trapped inside now so if i want to be mosquito free i have to go outside but at least i can do anything i want outside without the mosquitoes getting to me one of my things is that i like to try to develop camping skills in weather and places that other people don't like for instance camping in the rain or on a drizzly 40 degree hypothermia day or on the side of a hill, or in a swamp, or some other place that you don't generally see other people hiking and camping. You're gonna eliminate 90% of all the other people you might encounter in the woods just by camping on a nasty weather day. And if you can do it comfortably and in safety, why not? It's just a skill you have to develop. All right, there's the trail. My setup is in there, not visible from this part, so I'm going to move along over this way and uh, see what I can see. Okay, so there it is. It is visible from the trail, and if I was up on horseback, it would probably be even more so. I didn't realize the trail came quite this close on this side, so... I will have to continue my efforts to find the perfect stealth location. The tarp there is a dark brown, coffee brown they call it, and I just wonder, I mean it sticks out like a sore thumb, I just wonder if it would be less visible if it was divided up into big sections of light and dark. Not, uh, not small, a small little camouflage pattern like woodland or anything like that, but just like big two and three foot kind of irregular shaped patches of light green and maybe some yellow or dark green or dark brown. So there's about a 100, 150 foot section of trail that 
portions of the camp are visible. This is one of those situations where I don't know if a camouflage rain tarp or anything would really help because that's mostly just a dark blob of shadow. I suspect not so much. When something's in plain sight like that, camouflage can only do so much for you. You actually need real natural camouflage, real natural items to uh, hide behind. Now that root ball there, even though it's naturally occurring, it looks so fake. <laughs> it is a big dark object with all the roots sticking out. I could probably try to disguise the tarp as one of those, but it looks fake even though it's not. 